course, scored a political point in Elda. We hope Ireland is united in more ways than just this issue. When I was in New York over the course of the St. Patrick's Week, I uh, met Michal McMahon. Uh, Mickey McMahon, son from Bally Shannon. Uh, and I met him for the first time in 30 years. The last time I saw Michal McMahon, he was running around in nappies in Bally Shannon. <laughs> and it comes home very forcibly to you when you see someone who has arrived in the United States of America in the course of recent years, has got employment in a local construction company. When you speak to the people who employ them and the people that he works with, and you hear the tremendous word that they have on him, vis-a-vis the contribution he makes to that construction company, the contribution he makes to society in the, in the United States of America, and to all aspects of life in the United States of America, you just say to yourself that if Michal McMahon was to be arrested tomorrow morning, as, as Mary was arrested and treated so shamefully, what well, you would actually be witnessing if that was had to happen in a way scale throughout the United States of America is the beginning of the breakup of the Irish American community. And that has to be something which is totally unacceptable to all of us because the links and the bonds between Ireland and the United States of America are very, very strong indeed. And there is an amazing argument for an exceptional case to be made uh, to recognise and commemorate that relationship and to ensure that people like Michal McMahon and Mary and many others can work and contribute as they do to life in the United States of America. So I came here today to argue that the Irish government should do uh, as much as they can on the issue. I don't actually have to argue that because from Dermot Ahern's comments and previous remarks that I've heard from Matisic, it is clear that everyone here now is totally and absolutely united in terms of how we move forward. But I think consideration should be given to how the views of immigrants can be represented. And I think that he should, should consider over the course of the coming period how that can be resolved in the course of uh, this campaign to ensure that immigrants get their voice. So, well done everybody. This is a, a tremendous campaign. It is a vulnerable cause. The cause is going to be won. My discussions with Edward Kennedy during that week just passed in uh, St. Patrick's Week uh, showed him to be, you know, very uh, upbeat.